it is two o'clock. I'm starting my vlog, vlog very late. Um, my nurse came this morning to change my dressing. I she literally knocked at the door, and that's what woke me up. I was that like, tired that I slept in till like twelve something. Anyway, this morning I need to go sort out my TAFE stuff slash college stuff, and then I need to get my bloods done after that. So that is the plan. That's what I'm going to do. Sorry, my pots are bad today. I'm uploading a main channel video at the moment and then I'll edit my vlog from yesterday when I get back and we'll also do the calendar when I get back as well. Oh, I'm so tired, guys. Oh, I feel like I'm not going to vlog much today, but I'm going to do my best. Um, My pots is so bad. I'm going to have to run fluids when I get home. So, how stupid is it that I can only get back? Let me open my door a bit. I can only get back like a quarter of what I paid for my college stuff. Like how cheap is that? And I might not even be able to get on the January course. I might have to wait till September, which is ridiculous. When they pretty much said to me that I could and now they're saying that I can't, I'm just like, oh. So if that is the case, then I might try and get my surgery for like January time or February and then end up doing the course in September. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm, what I'm doing with my life at the moment. I feel so lost. I, I, had, I, I thought everything was just gonna fall into place, but like, my health yet again has like ruined something for me and now I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do it. It's just frustrating. Hey guys, so <clears throat> I am, um, for some reason, the footage from I filmed yesterday from the EDS conference when I was going through my notes isn't working when I was trying to edit it. So I'm gonna have to film it again. So I'm gonna do that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to open today's calendar first. I got changed because I was just sick and I got sick all over my clothes and oh, I just hate it so much when that happens. And I don't like really talking about it, but it happens more than I would like. Well, I wouldn't like it to happen at all, but you know, living with gastroparesis, it's kind of impossible not to be sick if you have it severe. So anyway, it's the 12th today, so I'm just gonna open that. See, this one kind of smells lemony, but the other ones yesterday kind of had like a weird, I kind of want to say like nutty kind of scent. I don't know. I can't explain it. So, we've got a little stack piling up now that haven't been used. I have one burning at the moment. The washer's on because I've just put the um, <clears throat> my clothes in there and the bath mat because I've got it on that too. Lovely, I know. Anyway, I'm going to go into the other room and I'm going to grab my notes and my little goodie bag from yesterday and I'm going to go and film that while Tom has a nap. And my video is uploading my vlog from yesterday. Okay, let's go film this. Also guys, before I <clears throat> get to filming the video, I just wanted to say that when I went to get my bloods done earlier, there was a police car parked in a disabled bay and I tweeted about it saying that you know they don't have yeah they're the law you know they can run red lights they can flash the lights and we have to move over if we're driving to let them pass that's fine but I don't think they should have the right I don't know if they do or not I haven't looked it up but it's not right for a police car to park in a disabled spot when without a permit and especially when there are free spaces like right next to it or just across from that or whatever it's just not right because then there's people like me who had to park really really far away and by the time I got to the entrance which is just where the disabled bays are I was so exhausted my heart rate was like 190 I was dizzy I was breathless I literally felt like I was gonna pass out all because I had to walk a really really long distance um, and yeah they could have parked in the other car park like I did and yeah, it just really frustrated me. So I don't think it's right that police, if they can, I don't think it's right that they should be allowed to park in disabled bays. If they have a permit, fair enough. But I don't think someone who is that severely disabled or needs to use a permit should be a police officer if they need to use the um, disabled bay. <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted to quickly mention that because that's something that really frustrated me. I was going to vlog about it in the car, but I was so dizzy and I was like, no, nah, I just need to put the aircon on and drive, get home. So, yes. <laughs> Guys, 
I have a question. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I look horrible, but Tom thinks it's Dan Draft, and I think it's Dandruff. Like you know, like Dandruff. Hey Siri, how do you spell Dandraft? <laughs> it's Dandruff. <laughs> Siri's completely wrong. <laughs> Dan Ruff. <laughs> Dan Druft. Look. Ruft. Dan Druft. Dan Druff. Dan Druft. It's not draft. Look. Google it. Look at that. Dan Druff. You're wrong, boy. <laughs> it's okay to be wrong. As long as you know that I'm always right. <laughs> Dan Druft. It's not draft. Oh my gosh, it's Druff. Dan Druff. Comment down below who is right, guys. Me or Tom? I'm always right. You're not. That's it. I'm never doing things to make you definitely again. Okay, fine. It's Dan Druff. <laughs> hey guys, so I know my hair's super frizzy because I've, um, <laughs> it's drying after I've just showered. But I wanted to show you again the thing, the absorbent thing. Because I feel like it wasn't good enough when I showed you the other day. So, I'm showing you again. So in here is just a little bit of TPN and a little bit of um, my flush. And I'm going to put in three of the cotton buds. So here we go. How cool is that? I don't know, maybe I'm just fascinated by tiny things, but... Amazing. I, thought... <laughs> I don't know, I like it. Anyway, I wanted to just show you that again. Also, update on the Lachalo situation. Um, I can't say that it's doing much for me. I've taken it every day, three times a day, since you guys, since I told you guys about it. And yeah, I'm not really feeling anything yet. It hasn't moved my bowels. I'm not even getting any cramping. Like, I get really bad cramping with the Juclax. Like, really bad. And especially, like, if I push it down like if I put a lot down my um J tube like it's so painful and it makes me feel so nauseous and yeah it's just not good but with that I literally don't feel anything like I'm even questioning whether it's going down or not and I push that before I push my pain meds and I get a little bit of a weird feeling when I take my meds that like I know when it kicks in so the fact that I'm getting you know those medications are working which means that is definitely going down my tube also i uploaded a main channel video today it is a excuse me another morning routine one so if you guys want to go check it out please do and show it some love i'll leave a link in the oh goodness i'll leave a link in the description so you guys can go watch it and yeah things are make it go hmm. things are make it go hmm <laughs> Before they invented drawing boards, what did they go back to? Hmm? Yeah, back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. Hmm, what did they use? Back to the... Stone ball. <laughs> With pickaxe. Guys, Tom and I are watching a series currently. It's called Death by Magic, and it's got an English lad that presents it. It makes you go, hmm. Um, and it's really, really interesting. I've never seen any sort of magic shows like this. When I first saw the trailer, I thought it would be very similar to, like, Dynamo. But it's different because he takes, like, um, tricks that magicians have done that, that they died doing. And then tries to recreate it, but bigger and better. It's really, like, some of it's really dangerous and quite scary, if you ask me. Anyway, I'm going to end my vlog here, guys, before I forget. Tomorrow I'm going out to lunch with my family. Or well, my mum's paying for everybody to go to the sea restaurant, which is, like, this big thing in the sky. Do you know what it is? It's like a... It doesn't rotate, does it? Yeah. Does it? Ah, oh, apparently, like, it's like a big restaurant thing that, like, rotates or something. Um, I've never been. Uh, I think beginning of the year... We actually bought, me, Ellie and Tommy went three ways to a voucher for Francis and my dad for their joint birthday party um, to go to the sea restaurant. So I'm hoping it'll be nice. So I'll definitely vlog tomorrow and show you guys the view and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy today's vlog, please do give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I seriously love you guys so, so much. And just so you know, like liking, commenting, all that stuff, it helps me so, so much because... A lot of you guys have been commenting like, oh, like, why do you always say like, comment, subscribe? It's because the more 
interaction that your channel gets by liking, commenting, subscribing, your you know channel's more, more more likely to be put in the recommended column, and then you get more traffic to your channel, etc. So that's why I always say that. Tom has something he wants to say. North East, South West, and in space. That's his teaser. Teaser's teaser for tomorrow's things that make you go hmm. Anyway, guys, I love you all, and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Good night. Good night.